equally rough. Alright, Bucky Frog looking to open him up. Solid ledge guarding. Eating 70%. And actually, a lot of this damage has been self damage. So I'm gonna put him off there. Back air to shield once again. I don't think Jerry has actually landed like a real hit on him. Just with how small Pichu is, Parking Frog is able to like essentially rack up a bunch of free percent on Jerry. Finally eating a down throw, but not able to get much. I'm, I'm not sure if Jerry really knows what he wants either. Another down throw, and he's looking. All right, he's gonna stall with the upy. He's gonna trade hits with um, Barking Frog. And once again, name it again. Both of them are in kill percent. Kind of just hopping around, and he's looking to catch him. Four to not quite able to get the two frame. Again, Barking Frog looking, but that neutral air is going to make its way through. Sour back air. That's got to be an up smash. Uh, there's a dash tag. Giving him the boot and taking him out. And we're turning it in kind with uh, rising up the rising up air to thunder. Sparking frog getting out big damage. All right, another down tilt up air string. Again, missing these back airs, but he needs to get Jerry into the off stage and then just like keep him trapped on the ledge, building up as much percent as possible. So there we go with another back air. Ooh, late with the forward smash. Another forward throw. And I think here we might see it now. And again, Barking Frog is hunting. There's the back air. Jerry taking him out. Barking Frog needs to answer in kind before trying to throw out too many buttons and eating a lot of self damage. There's the down smash, it's gonna take Jerry off the top. One back air. There's a forward tilt. Ooh, catches the jump, or catches him, just because Pichu's head was sticking up. All right. So Barking Frog stacking up that damage. Not able to get the down air, but... There's a back throw. He's looking, catches him with the forward smash, he's gonna take him out. 75%. Peach you, folks. Excuse me, I am a very yawny boy for some reason. All right, <clears throat> so we're going Lucina instead of uh, Walt this time around. Someone who can like essentially, well, who has a disjoint first of all, so he doesn't really have to play uh, Pichu's game, just kind of swat him away. And Jerry, as long as he plays around his spacing but just doesn't eat hits like that, he can do pretty well. But I'm not sure how good Jerry's Lucina honestly is, but again, doing well to hold on to these jumps. It's not dead just yet, but things are looking very grim for him. He doesn't have the explosiveness or the burst power that um, Wolf has. So he's going to have to win a lot more neutral exchanges to come out on top. 
Gets him to a solid 50. Misses the tech and he's dead to jab up smash. Oh, double jab up smash. Okay. Jerry kind of looking. That shield getting dangerously small. There we go. Bye bye. See you later. All right. Even game. Who would have thunk? Barking Fox did have a very commanding lead that first stock, but Jerry kind of finding his footing here. He's opening up Pichu. Jumping at him with his uh, disjoint in there every time uh, Barking Fox goes for that uh, T jolt. <coughs> up he had a shield, tries to cross him up. Barking Frog takes a safe punish and goes for the down smash just to cover both sides. Wow, he just lets up smash rip and he kills him at 111%, which isn't crazy, honestly. It is Pichu. I believe second lightest in the game. Or third. She's light. But again, the thunder is coming through. Barking Frog needs to close it out. Down smash not quite enough. But if he catches F smash on neutral getup. The one low. Up throw Thunder, jumping into him, but nice air dodge from Jerry is going to get him out. Now things are looking very risky for Barking Frog. And there's the up throw. Thunder's going to connect and close out that stock. So Jerry plays it slow, plays around his like uh, boxing tools or his uh, his rat killing tools, to say the least. He could very well win this, but all it takes is one explosive edge trap from Barking Frog. He has a jump. He air dodges into the ledge and gets it back. Nice little tomahawk back throw. And Jerry looking. All right, it's still anyone's game here. And again, not able to get the uh, jab lock this time. Tries to catch him with the Rising Thunder once again. And up to is going to take him off the top, barely. Scary stuff. There's Dash Knight going to put him up. That teacher would actually save him. He was almost dead. Ooh, their walk back F tilt. It's going to take out Jerry, game two. So it's all 2 0 from uh, Barking Frog's Pichu. Looking a bit dicey that second game, but he played it cool, played it slow, and made sure to just bat away Jerry's uh, offensive options. Did well to play in his shield.